Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, very soon, in mid-October 2013, Riga, the capital of Latvia, will host the Global Expert Meeting on the Ethical Aspects of the Information Society, which is organized by the Latvian National Commission for UNESCO, with the support of the Government of Latvia, the leading software company TILDE, and UNESCO. The meeting will seek answers to the emerging challenges due to advancement in modern communication technology. The reach of new technologies is quite remarkable. Today, every third inhabitant around the world is connected to Internet. There are an estimated 7 billion mobile subscriptions worldwide, and dial-up Internet has been replaced by broadband over the past 10 years. Remote surgical intervention or surfing the net from the International Space Station is not any longer science fiction. The pace of change is accelerating. In 1995, there were uh, 600,000 mobile subscriptions in Africa. In 2005, this number rose to 87 million. Today, it stands at 750 million. More people than ever before have access today to an interactive information and communication technology. All ba barriers are being overcome, societies are being brought closer together, and unprecedented ways to create and share knowledge and information are emerging. These are stunning facts. Our task is to make the most of them, to harness fully the potential of broadband and new technologies for more inclusive and more sustainable development. For this, we need to understand better the impact of change on our lives as individuals, citizens and members of communities, and on our societies, our economies and political systems. For better or for worse, new technologies are not only changing the way we learn and communicate, do business, promote health and interact with the world. They are changing our behaviours and attitudes. All of this is raising a host of questions ranging from how to prevent new divides as old ones are bridged, to share the benefits of new technologies with all countries, especially in the least developed countries, or freedom of expression online and individual privacy, and how to integrate technologies into learning. At the same time, Certain fundamental principles should underpin any discussion about the use of new technologies. First and foremost, the fundamental right of freedom of expression on the Internet should be preserved and Internet itself should remain free and open. Furthermore, we need to ensure that all Internet users have the necessary skills to use the Internet in a literate manner. The RIG expert meeting will address these complex issues and will contribute to the ongoing debate which started at the World Summit on the Information Society in 2003 in Geneva and is far from being over. Thank you for your attention.